The Open Window by Saki Summary The Open Window by Saki, H. H. Munro, is a short story about a man named Frampton Nuttell, who visits the country to cure his nerves. He meets a young girl named Vera, who tells him a tragic story about her aunt's husband and brothers, who went missing during a hunting trip years ago. She explains that her aunt leaves the window open, expecting them to return. Just as Vera finishes her tale, the men appear, returning from the hunt. Terrified, Frampton flees, thinking he has seen ghosts. The twist reveals Vera's story was fabricated, showing her flair for creating dramatic lies. About the author Saki, the pen name of Hector Hugh Munro, 1870-1916, was a British writer known for his witty, mischievous, and often macabre short stories. He was born in British Burma and later moved to England, where he gained prominence for his satirical works. Saki's stories often feature ironic twists, dark humor, and keen observations of Edwardian society. His best-known works include The Open Window, Sredni Vashtar, and The Lumber Room. His writing style has been compared to that of Oscar Wilde and O. Henry. Saki served in World War I and was tragically killed in action in 1916. Question 1. Read the extract given below and answer the questions. Extract 1. I know how it will be, his sister had said. Worse than ever from moping. Question 1. Why did Frampton Nuttell come to the rural retreat? Answer. Frampton Nuttell was suffering from some neural diseases. He had come to the rural retreat to recover from his disease. Question 2. What did his sister do to try to help him adjust to the new place? Answer. His sister tried to help him adjust to the new place by giving him some letters of introduction to all the people she knew there so that he would be able to meet them and would not feel bored and lonely. Question 3. Who was the first person he went to meet after coming to the new place? Answer. He went to meet Mrs. Sappleton after coming to the new place. Extract 2. She rattled on cheerfully about the it was all purely horrible. Question 1. Who is referred to as she? Answer. She is referred to as Vera. Question 2. Why did Frampton feel horrible? Answer. Frampton felt horrible because Vera spoke about ghastly topics. Question 3. What did Frampton try to do to change the subject? Answer. Frampton tried to change the subject by making a desperate effort by telling about the doctors, ailments, and infirmities but was partially successful in turning the talk onto a less ghostly topic. Extract 3. I expect it was the Spaniel. Had a horror of dogs. Question 1. Who was the niece referring to as he? Answer. The niece is referring to Mr. Nuttell as he. Question 2. What did the person do? Answer. That person grabbed his stick and hat and ran out of the house as soon as he saw three men walking across the lawn towards the window. Question 3. Why was that person scared of the dogs? Answer. The person was scared of dogs because once he was hunted into a cemetery somewhere on the banks of the Ganges by a pack of pariah dogs and had to spend the night in a newly dug grave with the creatures snarling and grinning and foaming just above him. Answer the following questions in three or four sentences. Question A. According to Vera, what had happened to Mrs. Sappleton's husband and her two brothers? Answer. According to Vera, Mrs. Sappleton's husband and her two younger brothers set out for a day of shooting and did not return. In crossing the moor of their favorite snipe shooting ground, the three of them, along with their little spaniel, were engulfed in a treacherous piece of bog. They got lost in that bog and their bodies were never found. Question B. Why did Mr. Nuttell begin conversing about his ailments with Mrs. Sappleton? Answer. 
Mr. Nuttell began conversing about his ailments with Mrs. Sappleton as he was under the impression that when total strangers meet for the first time, they are interested in knowing about each other's ailments and infirmities along with their cause and cure. Question C. How does Vera react when she sees three figures walking across the lawn towards the window? What was Mr. Nuttall's reaction? Answer. Vera stared at the three figures walking across the lawn towards the window with a dazed look of horror in her eyes. Mr. Nuttell reacted intensely. He grabbed his stick and hat and ran out of the house as soon as he could when he saw them walking across the lawn, who he assumed to be the ghost of the dead men. Answer the following questions briefly. Question A. What prompted Vera to concoct and relate a story about her aunt and family to Mr. Frampton Nuttell? Answer. Vera realizes that Mr. Nuttall has no knowledge about Vera's aunt or anyone else in the countryside, and he was there through a letter of introduction from his sister. So, Vera took advantage of the navit nervousness and fears of Frampton Nuttell and narrated an imaginary story about her aunt and family to Mr. Nuttell in order to entertain herself. Question B. Do you think both Mrs. Sappleton and Vera were good hosts to Mr. Nuttell? Give reasons. Answer. Vera receives Mr. Nuttell, who comes there as a perfect stranger with a subtle sense of cynicism. She also makes him feel uncomfortable and nervous due to the imaginary story of her aunt and her family which she narrated to Mr. Nuttell in order to entertain herself. Mr. Sappleton sounds bored and Mr. Nuttell noticed that she gave little attention to his story of sickness and her chief concern was waiting for her husband's return. This shows that both Mrs. Sappleton and Vera were not good hosts to Mr. Nuttell. Question C. How would you have dealt with Vera if you were in Mr. Nuttall's place? Answer. If I were in Mr. Nuttall's place, I would have dealt with Vera by asking her various questions about herself which would have distracted her and kept her away from asking me questions. Higher Order Thinking Skill Question A. Is this a mystery story? Give a reason for your answer. Answer. While explaining the mystery behind the open French window, the events narrated by Mrs. Sappleton's niece managed to create a sense of foreboding. Later, when the three men approach the open window, the reader, like Frampton, can only logically conclude that they were ghosts. Hence, one can say that this story does contain elements of the mysterious. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more updates.